friends here tonight. Thanks for coming out to support me, everybody. Woo! This is great. Now, one thing you may not know about me, uh, I have comedy in my blood. <laughs> my name is Karen Knotts. I'm the daughter of a famous comedian. Don Knotts is my dad. Andy Groove Show and Juice Company. And I suppose you can tell I'm Don Knotts' daughter. We look a lot alike. <laughs> no? Okay, okay. Well, what about if I do this? <laughs> there you go. That's my life now. I go around making faces hoping people will recognize me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Of course, I realize for you younger people, I might as well be talking about the original production of Hamlet. <laughs> but it was a very famous show in the 1960s, The Andy Griffith Show, right? My dad played this overexcitable deputy, Barney Fife, and the sheriff, Andy Taylor, and Ronnie Howard played the little boy, and I wanted to be a child actor. I, I begged my father to let me go on the show, but he was against it. He said it was a lonely life for a child, and he was right. <laughs> Poor, lonely Ron Howard. <laughs> he grew up and his only friends are Oscar and Emmy. <laughs> well, I did grow up in Beverly Hills, but I'm, I'm not like those, you know, other Beverly Hills posers like Britney Spears or Lindsay Lohan. For one thing, I still have my driver's license. <laughs> um, so, um... Yeah, you know, uh, I uh, I noticed that uh, we have a lot of couples in the audience tonight, right? <laughs> couples? Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> when I was in college, <laughs> I was a single girl. Nothing has changed. <laughs> It may have something to do with my day job. I'm a librarian. Oh, yeah. yeah, thanks for the apathy and the phony enthusiasm. <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate you being so nice, really. I do. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not looked upon with great relish. Uh, we're thought of as a dying breed, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, it's affecting my job performance. I used to be so proud. I'd say, your books will be due in two weeks. Now I say, just keep them. <laughs> That's two less books I have to shelve. <laughs> I, I realize I, I fit into a sort of a stereotype, you know, um, uh, stereotype of, uh, you know, white women who are easy <laughs> to tell apart. Uh, those crazy Caucasian features. <laughs> Yo, dude, I met this white woman. She looks like that wacky deputy sheriff on TV. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I look like uh, I look like that sexy librarian who reads tarot co <laughs> cards on the side. <laughs> Late fees. You can pay me with dinner. <laughs> Any, uh, any single fellas who uh, go to the library? Any, any single fellas? <laughs> <laughs> you did, sir! I found one! I found one. <laughs> so, uh, uh, tell me, what's your name, sir? My name is Ernest. Ernest? Yeah, Ernie! Oh. <laughs> Ernest is well known and has fans. <laughs> well, Ernie, yeah. Uh, you know, you can, you can, uh, the next time you go to the library to check out a book, uh, why not check out the librarian? <laughs> you know, isn't he cute? He's cute, isn't he? I think I got a chance. I think I have a chance here. <laughs> and, and you don't have to worry, because what happens in the library stays in nonfiction. <laughs> Four one for the librarian. <laughs> uh, no, actually, we, we really do have a, a social life, Ernie. <laughs> um, you know, the uh, the last party we had, the theme was librarians gone wild. <laughs> you you would have enjoyed it, Ernie. Uh, um, librarians were taking off their glasses, <laughs> letting down their hair. 
and after a few belts of our favorite drink, to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> We're taking naughty pictures and emailing them to our cats. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been trying, I'm trying to get out there, you know, I, I've done the speed dating. I did speed dating in Santa Monica, and you know what, every single guy there was Asian. Every guy. And, uh, Ernie's pissed off because I've got off of the topic of <laughs> We'll get back to you. We're going to get back to you. <laughs> but um, no, every guy in the speed dating thing was, was um, Asian. And you know what they say. Once you go Asian, the academic scores of local schools go up. <laughs> Anyway, um, no, uh, but it's kind of hard when you do the speed dating because you've got three minutes with each guy, right? And it's really awkward when you run out of things to say after one minute. It's like trying to fill a conversation with just anything. Like, oh, 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 what time is it? Oh, is that a split end? Oh, oh my gosh, there's a celebrity in here. Oh no, that's just a cardboard cutout. <laughs> what would Samuel Jackson be doing in Muggsy's Barn Grill? <laughs> but, um... I uh, have been struggling with a roommate situation. I, oh, I, I know you're thinking a roommate at my age. Well, it's okay, it's okay. You know, I, I bought a condo and I'm not bragging, but it's almost as big as this room. <laughs> I just bought it for, you know, I just need the roommate to help with the mortgage. You know? And I have this one roommate, she drove me crazy. I finally, we finally moved on. But you know, it was first it was fine. We shared everything, you know. Uh, the bills, the dishwasher, my boyfriends. <laughs> but she was so driving me crazy. She started complaining about my Wi-Fi. She said the Wi-Fi was keeping her awake at night. And I'm not talking about me typing on the computer. I'm talking about the actual Wi-Fi. And so I said, okay, I would turn it off at night, but I, I kept falling asleep with my clothes on, and I think she was sneaking into my room because one morning I woke up, the Wi-Fi was off, and so were my clothes. <laughs> I guess I guess it's just Wi-Fi stands for Wi-Fi it. <laughs> Thank you everybody.